bit nervous. It's not often that I get an African dictator on the phone. Um, so, you know, I'm going to take a deep breath. <laughs> Ahead of his performance at the Edinburgh Fringe in August is self-proclaimed African Zelensky. He is the president of the Republic of Laughter, President Ombonjo. He's going to be at the Bedford Fringe. I need to find out more about him. Good evening, sir. Good evening. I am very, very happy to hear from you, but you have not followed the protocol. You should be saying, you haven't used my pronouns. His I'm Excellency. So sorry, sir. I'm that so is what you need to say. <laughs> so, so good. Uh, let me start this again. I, I mean, I feel foolish. Totally my bad. Good evening, President. His Excellency. Good evening. How are you? I'm very well. <laughs> I'm a little bit nervous, sir. Very Don't nervous. be nervous. Do you remind me of my second wife? Her name is Barbara. Yours is Babs. She, you remind me so much. Always nervous. She is my Monday wife. So, but don't worry about it, Babs. Don't worry. Oh. <laughs> okay. Now, as the Your Excellency, as the President of the Republic of Laughter, what would you say are some of the parts of your manifesto? Oh, it is. Look. One of the things, I have been here since Saturday, and one of the things that we do very well is we promote polygamy. You know, I have six wives, one on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday I rest. And that is what you need in Britain. That is what you need. There won't be any issues. Are you okay? Are you okay? Yes. There won't be. Uh, yes, you're, you're laughing a lot. I mean, there will be no issues, no, no uh, matrimonial affairs because we promote polygamy, and I'd love to bring that to Britain. Really? And and how do all your wives of the days of the week? How do they get on, Your Excellency? They do get on very well mm -hmm. because I vet them. I don't use dating sites. Oh. I just line them up, and I said, I want that one. I want that one. I want that one. It's that simple. Is it? Yes. Yes. There's no, we don't use Tinder. We don't use Bumble. We don't use Inch in my country. Don't need it. Don't need it, sir. Um, no need. What, what happens? I mean, I need to ask. I mean, I've seen pictures of you, sir, Your Excellency. I mean, how do you manage to, how can I say this delicately? How do you manage to, you know, uh, please service, get around all of your wives. I mean, is there enough of Ombonjo to go round? Look, I, I I believe this is the BBC, yeah. so I need to make sure I choose my words carefully. Yeah. What I would say to you is that I am a strong, viral man. <laughs> I come from a tribe that produces a lot. Oh. And that is all I would say. We, yes, we are... We don't need Viagra in my tribe. We do not need. So if that is what you're referring to, we don't need Viagra. I come from the Kobolopo oh. uh, tribe. And oh. it is, yes, Barbara, oh. honestly, I don't need, we don't need, we don't need any chest. We don't need any chest to describe anything to us. Our men are viral. Now, Your Excellency, what, um, if anybody's going to come and see you at the Fringe, uh, they're coming on Friday, where will you be and what can your audience expect? Because I know I think you're going to be at the Quarry Theatre, aren't you? Yes, I am at the Quarry Theatre. I am surprised I'm even able to pronounce that t name of the theatre properly. It's taking me a while to understand it's the Quarry Theatre. And what should they expect? You see, this is, this is why I am so pleased. What they should expect is a political comedy show. It is about my friendship with Zelensky. I will be addressing the world affairs across the entire, not just Africa, the Western world. And I want people to take me seriously because this is what has happened. Zelensky and I were friends. It, oh. Most people know that Zelensky used to be a former comedian. Yes. We used to gig together across the country and we had dreams, real dreams that one day we will both be real presidents. Guess what has happened? Wow. Zelensky has achieved his dream. Mm -hmm. I am coming to the Quarry Theater to come and tell people why they should take me seriously as a real president. I it's see. that simple. I see. So really, it's this is almost like a bit of one-upmanship with Zelensky. I mean, your mate has made it, um, and you're trying to do the same. Exactly. 
exactly, and I'm trying, and I have evidence that the West should take me seriously. But they have planted stories about me in the press oh. to make me look like a comedy buffoon. Ah, huh? what sort Honestly. of stories, Your Excellency? Oh, oh it, it's unbelievable. They have they have so many stories of me. They have created TikTok accounts and used AI, artificial <laughs> intelligence, to create make me look like a buffoon. Make me look like my late father, Idi Amin Dada. <laughs> I mean, that would never do, will it? No, it will never do. And that is why I have come here. To, because normally, I should. I genuinely thought when they told me that I was going to have an interview, I thought I was going to be talking to Sunak, the Prime oh, Minister. Oh, no, sorry. So, I'm, oh God, what a crushing disappointment that must have been for you. Uh, well, then I am talking to Babs. Yeah, sorry, sorry. I mean, it's it's um, it's no Rishi Sunak, but maybe if you can uh, if you can hang on. I mean, how how long are you in the country, sir? It depends on how long. Uh, it depends on the response I get from Bedford. Oh. And who knows? Maybe on the night I might have a seventh wife. Who knows? <laughs> Watch out, people. Watch out. So, President Ombonjo, before you go, Quarry Theatre, this Friday, what time, sir? It starts at nine o'clock. There is no African time. We are going to start on time. And please forget about your energy prices. Forget about the electricity and gas prices. Come and warm yourselves up at the theatre and let's have fun. Let's forget all the problems Britain has at the moment. I will entertain you. And I have to thank you for giving me this opportunity because a lot of these other stations don't want me on air. They don't want me to talk about my show. That's why you will never hear about my show. Ah, well, thank you, Babs. You're very welcome, sir. Your Excellency, I'm doing a little curtsy and a little bow as we say goodbye. I bid you farewell. Thank you, President Ombonjo. Thank you. You're you welcome, Babs. Maybe I can take you for coffee or tea or something <laughs> later on. <laughs> Maybe I could be wife number eight. Thank you very much. Yeah, wife number eight. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, President. <laughs> bye. 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 Every